Hello everyone, I'm Winston Chan from Portal.net. Today we'll be taking a look at the Clef Crust C720 PCIe SSD, which is a relatively mainstream PCIe 3x4 SSD. So while PCIe 3 SSDs aren't exactly new, we are definitely still looking for them you know, for our laptops and our systems because, well, most of our systems still support PCIe 3 instead of the faster PCIe 4 standard. So is the Clef Crust C720 an SSD that you should be considering for your next build or should you look for something else? Well, let's find out. So I think we'll start with the unboxing first. And as you can see, the packaging is pretty clean. So you get some blue essence along with the white and it really contrasts with the black drive you can see here. Apparently, there's going to be a teal colored SSD. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So in any case, you can see that there is the speed, the SLC caching. So they tell you that they have SLC caching, 3D NAN, and also supports the latest NVMe 1.3 standard, as well as it comes with a free backup software, and that there is a five-year warranty. So at the top here, so tells you the capacity, which is something that I really quite appreciate because, you know, I have seen some packaging that did not really reveal the clearest information on the front. So this is truly welcome. Meanwhile, over on the back, you get, you know, the other information, for example, the support for LDPC, as well as, you know, the fact that it has memory instead of, you know, just your normal DRAMless SSDs. So this is a pretty decent performance drive. But of course, that's just the packaging and, you know, you get all the kinds of claims and all kinds of data on the box. But let's take a look at the drive itself. So on the inside, there isn't anything else other than this plastic tray and this SSD itself. So the SSD here comes with this dark PCB, which I do quite like because, well, usually dark colors fit better with motherboards. As usual, it's in the M.2 2280 form factor, which will fit most laptops and also most desktop PCs. Nothing too ordinary there. So here you get a sticker, none of that fancy, you know, uh, heat spreader kind of thing. But underneath, you can see that there is the memory, the DRAM, the controller, and of course the NAN. So over on the back side, there is actually more space for more DRAM and also more NAN flash. Look at all this more space! But yeah, we have the one terabyte version, so I don't think that we need to fill it all the way to the back. And that's pretty much it. The drive is pretty simple looking. I mean, most PCIe 3.0 SSDs look the same. So yeah. So I'll be just reading off the specifications of the Clef Crust C720 M.2 NVMe PCIe 3.0 X4 SSD. So it comes with 256GB Micron 96 layer 3D TLC NAN, which is why you have four packages here, and that makes up the full 1TB capacity. There's also 256MB of DDR3L memory, uh, RAM, and also the controller is the Fizen E12S, which is a pretty new controller actually. So the rated speeds are up to 3,400 megabytes per second read and 3,100 per megabytes per second write. I am speed. Which uh, is pretty fast for PCIe 3 SSD and about as fast as you can get. Endurance is slightly lower than the usual 600 terabytes written. It's at 565 terabytes written, but still, that's gonna last you way longer than you would expect to use SSD for. So it weighs 8 grams, so you shouldn't add too much weight to your laptop. And then it comes with a free copy of Acronis True Image HD, so you can easily copy your old drive onto this new drive, or what called cloning. The test system used, we will be using the Intel Core i5-11600K with the Gigabyte Aura Z490 Master, which is a motherboard that supports PCIe 4, but yeah. And also we'll be using some Clef Bolt XR RAM, which we reviewed previously, and you can go check it out. And yeah. This is the entire, pretty much the important key aspects of the system that will come into play when it comes to evaluating the performance of an SSD. So, speaking of performance, in Crystal Disk Mark, we see the drive performing up to 3456 megabytes per second read and 2993 megabytes per second write. So, the read speeds are actually faster than what Clef claimed, which is nice to see, but the write speeds are actually slightly slower than what Clef claimed. So, it's about 200 megabytes short, but then again, 3000 megabytes per second is still a really really fast drive so regardless that whether it hits the 3100 we still have a very fast drive in our hands or at least in my hands 
So over in S AS SSD, we see that it delivers up to 3,035 read and 2,832 write. And we can also see that the 4K performance is really good. As compared to the fastest PCIe 3 X4 SSD we have tested, the Kingston KC2500, this is a much faster drive. And then moving on to Anvil storage utilities, we see that the results gotten in AS SSD is pretty much corroborated by Anvil storage utility and we see similarly good performance here. Now moving on to the next benchmark is IDA 64 this benchmark. So the Clefcraft C720 does have a SLC cache like most of the other drives we have tested, but it appears to be implemented slightly differently. Instead of a high sustained write speed until it runs out of SLC cache, the speeds peak in the beginning before offering higher speeds in burst. You should not really face any issues in daily use unless your definition of daily use is writing 1TB to your drive continuously every day. And speaking of which, in the benchmarks which we did write to the drive non-stop, I observed that the Clef Crash C720 hit around 51 Celsius with the ROG Maximus 13 Heroes huge heatsink over its first M.2 slot. Without heatsink, the, heat, the drive can heat up to 70 degrees Celsius quite easily, so I would definitely recommend slapping a heatsink on it unless you're gonna use it just very lightly. You most probably won't need to because in normal usages, you don't really use the drive that much and you shouldn't see these kind of temperatures anyway. And so we come to our conclusion. The premium pricing that we are talking about is about RM689 for the 1TB version, which translates to around 67 cents per gigabyte so it's not really cheap compared to the latest SSDs around but then again you have to understand that this is quite a fast drive. The Clefcraft C720 is obviously a very fast drive but it is definitely on the pricier side of things. But of course you do benefit from having DRAM which a lot of the cheaper SSDs do not have and also the fact that you have a free copy of backup software like Acronis True Image HD which helps you you know backup your clone your drive clone your old drive to this drive so you can make a seamless upgrade. And that's definitely something that you might be interested in. And as I mentioned earlier, it might also be coming in a teal blue color, which is quite interesting. I mean, compared to, you know, our usual dark color schemes, it might work well with your build. But of course, that depends on what your build is going for. The only downside that I can see from this drive is that it has a slightly lower endurance because it comes here at 565 terabyte returns instead of the usual 600. But then again, as I mentioned earlier, it's probably not too much of a concern because you know 565 terabytes is still a lot of data to write to your drive, and it probably take you several years before you do that. And that's it for our review of the Clefcraft C720. Let us know what you think. I think that it is a pretty good drive, and most probably you'll be able to find it for less money on the market as compared to the MSRP. So it will be probably better value when you actually get it online. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and also follow our page, subscribe to our notifications to get more information like this as well as more informational reviews. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!